Good evening, everyone. I'm Nicole Perez. And I'm Calvin Hughes. And here's a look at the stories making news on this Wednesday night. Two armed carjackers leading several law enforcement agencies on a wild chase through multiple counties today. The pursuit began after a strong armed robbery in North Miami and ended in Broward County. The suspects were initially inside a white Lexus before carjacking a white Tesla. Sky 10 was overhead in Tamarack after a pickup truck driver slammed into the Tesla. One man was arrested. The other one ran off, swam through a canal and was eventually tracked down inside a home. Deputies say both men are facing felony charges. And the gas prices may soon be over, and Broward is now seeking to mandate raising all new private pumps at the port. The fuel delays could improve soon, but drivers who are so-called panic buying aren't helping the situation. Tankers are being escorted to gas stations, but some are having trouble even pulling into the stations due to the long lines. A Miami-Dade police officer who was shot in the head is getting transferred to another hospital for specialized care. Officer Damian Colon is continuing his rehab at Jackson Memorial Hospital after spending the first part of his recovery at a facility in Atlanta. Colon was shot by his ex-girlfriend, Yesenia Sanchez, who also used to be a police Police officer say the police say Sanchez stalked Colon using an app, followed him to his Hialeah home, shot him in the head, and then took off in her truck. When I found out that he liked me and stuff, I was very freaked out. You know, I was lucky, sad because I thought he was a, just a cool teacher. Well, only on Local 10 News, we're hearing from a teenage student who police say became the obsession of his middle school teacher, according to the 13-year-old student Mohammed Hamza Ahmed allowed him to skip class daily and showered him with gifts. The 28-year-old is accused of trying to pursue a romantic relationship with a teenager. Disturbing reports reveal Ahmed had inappropriate conversations with the victim through text messaging. Ahmed faces multiple charges, including child abuse. As breaking news happens, we have you covered on air and online. You can always go to our website for more information, local10.com. Be safe out there and see you back on Thursday.